It's a great Gonzalez going up against Diddles. Yeah, Diddles is uh, one of uh, a, a recent Ultimate player. We didn't really see him in the Smash 4 scene very much. Oh, yeah. We got my man Rick Belmont stepping up to the screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're getting that uh, Castlevania representation here. I did not know that uh, the great Gonzalez actually would uh, kind of have a, a, a different player, seek, uh, yeah. player pick for... I mean, this is, this is probably just God's being a jerk, but, you know, we'll see. what do I know? Needless to say, though, it's going to be Diddles going up, or evil uh, Diddles going up against the great Gonzalez. This is a game, Game & Watch has always been a thing. He's always low-key at a Game & Watch. He just won a regional, or like a monthly using Game & Watch a couple of weekends ago. Uh, this is definitely a thing, and this is definitely probably a matchup, no, like, you know, real talk. Probably a matchup that's really hard for the Belmonts. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be uh, surprised. I mean, it's nothing that he can actually bucket and like shoot out from him. Because I, I would go on a, out on a limb to really say that uh, the bucket is probably maybe going to get some of the fire, but more than likely right. it's probably just going to reflect well, a lot yeah, of it. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's not even the fact that it's going to be able to absorb things. It's the fact that you have to deal with the reflector. And reflector characters are so annoying for the Belmonts. So that back air. Just gonna outright kill, my goodness. Yeah, because as far as um, the Belmonts, really all of their, their their general options is trying to mitigate it. Did that get it? Give him full bucket immediately. It almost did. I think it only gave no, him it did. He's oh, got wow, full bucket, great. dude, over one. Yeah, but I wonder how powerful it's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the beautiful part here for Diddles is that he's not gonna take much to kill Mr. Game to watch. Like, if he hits him with the holy water right now on the ledge, he's oh, yeah, probably it's a, dead. It's a wrap. Uh, but again, this is a character that Gantz is also very familiar with. So, you know, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to pull the wool over his eyes in any situation. No, see, not Gantz at all. But I mean, Evil Diddles, he's doing such a good job of basically just spacing him out using the remainder of his tools that, you know, at first you're sitting there thinking, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we get a little taunt there. Yeah, he said, whip it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pulled it out on him. Yeah. But needless to say, though, at least he's you know, even the gap. Like, as much as Gantz was kind of playing keep away that last stock, he was kind of he wasn't really separating himself from the back very much. But now you see him again going for the bread and butter stuff of Mr. Game and Watch. A lot of throw confirms into those very trippy aerials that Mr. Game and Watch has at his disposal. Mm. But he gets half a bucket there with that. And I mean, you know, Game and Watch, just like you said, he, it's it's really just a struggle kind of getting in here. And I mean, Gon's probably no stranger to this. I mean, he already has used the Belmonts before. You know, he already sees what the general game plan is. It's going to be a lot of keep away. But once he gets in, you know, Gon's going with those tried and true grab combos. Solid 30 some damage that he's been putting on. So Yeah, but again, it's so close. It doesn't take much to come with Mr. Game and Watch. This is definitely a matchup that is very much doable right now because Diddles opted just to kind of cancel place with these aerials. Not a bad idea, especially when the reflector is a, an option at disposal right now. There are certain matches you can just kind of get away, uh, you know, throw in the whip just because your range is so much better than most characters. Yeah. And this is probably... Okay, no. Oh, wow. He gets back to stage. Really nicely placed. The uh, aerial just getting him back in there, but that was a little bit too much. <laughs> Goes for the, the, the Belmont Shore. You can there... I have no clue what that move is called. It's called the uppercut. The it is, uppercut. It's, it's essentially the knife weapon from Castlevania. So. Right. But Gods, uh, you know, getting the kill with the up tilt regardless. Uh, let's see what the answer is going to be for Diddles here. Because I don't think Gods is you know, going to let that... Uh, I don't think he's going to play much with his food yeah. when he did that last knock. No, yeah, not not now. Not seeing as how he's literally, like, you could sneeze on him and Ooh. he'd be dead. I mean, Game & Watch has always traditionally been one of the lighter characters in the Smash roster. So, I mean, he looks like he's like he's probably, yeah, made out of cardboard or something. <laughs> but Yeah, but uh, that down air to the uppercut, I think that was at, like, one of the very last percents where that's true. I think Gons is probably DI again, which is the only instance where it is true. And it looks like he might be dead here. No! Ooh. Keeps on escaping death, literally narrowly here, getting through there. But Gon's gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit of his ledge trapping options. <clears throat> Almost catches him with that dash back to down smash, but it's just not fast enough. All right, Ooh. right, right here in the pocket, up air to the forward air, keeping Gon's on the ropes, just trying to make not to let him land. Yeah, I was gonna say like Mr. Game Watch is really good at kind of breaking that like. 45 degree angle, which is really good to approach the Belmonts on the ground, but uh, he hasn't really been able to get the hits he needs, and this has become much, much closer. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, he's dead. Wow, he killed him with a rapid jab. Insane. That was, that's to look, even Gons is surprised. No, I saw the face. I think Gons was like, were you DIing out? And he said, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Unfortunately, when you do it, you are, you are indeed dead, but get the close, man. I definitely think that that matchup is pretty rough for the Belmonts. Like, I, I love the Belmonts. They're the character that I am unfortunately the most practiced with, and they're probably my best characters in this right. game. So I know a little bit about how they work. 
And I think the matchups that they do well in, they do really good in. The matchups that they don't do well in, they get destroyed. Right. Which kind of all spells mid tier to right. me. IMO. But. Oh. Well, not less, though. Not he, made it, he made it close. Yeah, he know. did. I mean, honestly, the only thing that I would have personally changed uh, for that last exchange, I mean, he'll, he'll probably just go back to the lab on that one and be like, oh, if I hit a rapid jab when I'm that low. You know, he did jump on stage, so that's probably why he might have, like, right, DI'd yeah. out. But it probably would have been a lot more optimal for him to smash DI down and then just up air and then be able to, you know, instant snap. And then it would have been 50-50 from there to see whether or not he would have, you know. Yeah, yeah. we'll see what happens. But uh, the God's uh, wasting no time. Uh, yeah, yeah, he said that was too close. <laughs> now, we're going to go from a what I think is kind of a bad matchup to most definitely a bad oh, matchup. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This matchup is booty butt cheeks. Yeah, but, for real. If I'm just being real here. Like, here's the thing. Like, I've, <laughs> okay, that's one way to get things started. Like, there's definitely blind spots in Palatana where the Belmonts can, uh, can generate offense, but... All stages where this matchup is just an absolute joke. Right. Yeah. In, in, in all in all seriousness, even in the neutral on stage, I mean, it's just going to be a lot more effective. Gonz is going to be a lot more of a potent threat directly in front of him like he is right now with the Nair. So, I mean, that's going to be his first change. He's going to go ahead and throw that uh, up B out of shield the first time. And so we'll see how Gonz answers it uh, following up here. But Gonz basically got him in a ledge trap situation, and Nair pretty much <laughs> setting the tone for exactly what's going to look for it every single time he's uh, you know, pressuring him off stage. Yeah, pretty much. But as you see, it's, it's been a pretty steady diet of projectiles from both sides. You know, Gons has been throwing a lot of auto reticles. Uh, you know, Diddle's using a lot of the axe, a lot of the cross, as he should. Mm. Okay, tries to cross him up with the, with, you know, Gons loves to go for jump behind back throw. Uh, but, you know, Diddle sniffing that out, going, just going for the turnaround upbeat. Mm. Again, getting really good mileage out of that. Yeah, stops him in that uh, that aerial approach here with that uppercut. Uh oh, he might actually be able to get oh, a quick one. But the, the cross on his yeah, return uh, trajectory, saving his bacon right there. There we go. First right, stock to Diddles. Holy water! He hit him with the and the father and the son and the Holy Spirit. Maybe that's why he went to church. Yeah, right. Trying to get as much as as a spiritual advantage as we can. <laughs> so I mean, right now Diddles. Getting back on stage, Holy Cross getting him back in here. Down tilt, looks for the Nair, doesn't come up with it. And uh, Gons pretty much sitting uh, back here, right in his hat here on that um, that counter. Yeah, and Gons is doing a good job, again, just keeping Diddles in disadvantage, but Diddles not giving up the center stage where you really want to be as the Belmonts. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm a little bit um, surprised at Diddles. Um, you know, he's doing such a good job, and Gon's playing this a lot more cautiously than I would have initially thought. Because if you noticed, you know, as much as the Belmonts really like to kind of throw out Holy Cross and, like, the Flame, you know, Palutena does have a trample option with the dash attack. So she would probably be able to get away with just kind of running in recklessly. Yeah, exactly. And you saw right there, uh, that is something to keep in mind here. You can pick up the Holy Water. It's a tangible item. Right. Um, so definitely keep in mind uh, when that might happen. Oh, that's, that's dead. GG's. Yeah. That's that, gone. That's, yeah, that, that's why this matchup is so rough, man. That's all it takes. Valatana is just, you know, one of the best characters at converting off of a single hit. And a situation like that, you know, it just spells curtains for these, these poor, unfortunate characters in the air. Yeah. And it's unfortunate, but I mean, at this point, he really kind of has to throw his neutral options into overdrive, because right there, you got a chance to see the reflector in, at first at face value. Now, in neutral, it didn't really do very much. I mean, they really had this slight exchange just off of movement, and he's able to get the grab, but right now, he's kind of coming to guns, which is kind of the last thing he really wants to do. He, you know, it's really it's probably a lot more um, advantageous of him not to play slow, but at the very least to kind of tease uh, or or make a farce of the pressure yeah. that he's putting Well, on. the problem is, like, he's losing. So he right. kind of has to be the one to kind of put the, his foot on the gas right now. Right. Because Gaz is like, he's, he's not going to, he understands he's not going to give it up. And True. not quite sure it happened there, but uh, losing the stock uh, on that SD, so. Yeah. But he's still got a good full, uh, a full four to five minutes here. And I, I believe very, very important. Like, <laughs> oh, that could have been spelling yeah, doom, man. Because I've, I've learned that when you trade with the Belmonts doing down air, it sets you up almost perfectly to get the up yep. out of it. And Definitely upbeat, does, and, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Doesn't even Jeez. matter what I was gonna say. Yeah, I, mean, well, I wouldn't say all that, but yeah. <laughs> well, good. I was gonna say that nine times out of ten, your fastest option might not. I don't think Palutena has like as fast an aerial option as the Belmonts do uppercut. That's her fastest right. option, like out of shield in regards to frames. It's like frame six or something like that. Correct. So. Yeah, because I, I believe um, her down tilt, even though, it, I mean, her down air well, what, yeah, it, really fast. It's got no range as far as outward, um, you know, attack. Yeah, it, it would have been strange. But yeah. nonetheless, though, Gon's picking up the mess and unfortunately sending diddles to the loser's brackets. So I think Gon's moves.